My name's Craig and I'm an alcoholic. I'm just thinking about, uh, you know what is crazy is thinking uh, this last three and a half years I've been through quite a bit of shit and um, I haven't picked up. I haven't used any alcohol or drugs to numb my feelings and you know I've 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 wrote it out and and until you know I've had my breakthrough or until things you know came around and uh, you know it's crazy how how life has its course and um, if we don't try and alter it ourselves things seem to work out you know. Um, I was sitting here listening to James. I'm th I was thinking back when I was 15 years old and um, you know. Uh, talk about life being unmanageable you know you're 15 years old you got all the answers you know you're running the streets you got your you, you got your crew you got this and that you know you got people watching your back you got you know you got all the answers you know a uh, sling dope to make money and and whatever it takes you know and, and you just think you got all the answers I was thinking back to when I was 15 years old you know and I, I had this little job as an apprentice auto mechanic you know and um you know, I was lit up on dope thinking I had all the answers and uh, had this girl I was running around with and, you know, we'd stay up every Friday night, every Friday night all, all night long while her mom was at work and hang out, play backgammon, do all that stuff. And, you know, and then I um, thought I had it down, you know, Friday night, we'd stay up all night, Saturday night, you know, stay up all night. And then Sunday, I'd... Uh, what was it, Saturday night, stay up all night. Sunday, I'd do just a little bump in the morning, get me through the day, and then sleep that night. And then Monday, I'd do a little bit of bump in the morning to get through my job as a, a, a mechanic. And then Tuesday, I'd do just a little bit less. And then Wednesday, you know, Wednesday through Thursday, I, I didn't need any dope for that couple of days, you know, because I'd slept. But um, come Friday, it was on again, you know, and... Uh, you know, that went on for some time, and then uh, one Sunday night, she says, Hey, uh, uh, let me hold on to your stuff, and I'll stop by at your house on the way to... Uh, well, I think she went to score for me or something. And um, she's all, you know, I give her the money, and she says, Oh, I'll stop by your house on the way to school in the morning. And, uh, man, I slept right through that. She never came by. You know, she never came by, and I lost my job, and I lost... You know, I wasn't in school, so my mom threw me out at 15 years old. I'm building this car. It's up on fucking jack stands in the front yard. I'm sleeping on it. People are walking their dogs in the morning, looking down in the car, looking at this long-haired little punk fucking sleeping in the car, you know. I thought I had all the answers. You know, I wanted to go to uh, Automotive Institute in Arizona, come auto mechanic like my dad. And, and um, you know, life never worked out that way. You know, instead... Uh, I got spun out and uh, my mom locked me up in an institution for about two months and um, got out of there and uh, went back right out to it, you know, and messing around and things things were things were a little different then, you know, but um, turned 18 and met my kid's mom and ran off with her, but you know, I, I wasn't using, but I was drinking then, you know. And uh, come home from work every day and get drunk and play with the kids and this and that. In the meantime, I'm not taking care of my responsibilities, you know. Um, not to say that she took care of all hers either, but, you know, I mean, we were young. But uh, it's, just, it's just crazy because, you know, years later, you know, I find myself crying out to God because, uh, you know, she left me with the kids and left me with everything. And I'm going through all this and I end up in church and... You know, and uh, man, I ended up sober for eight years, you know, but then when I, you know, I became a business owner, I made a lot of money, life was good, I thought I had it all down, you know, but in the meantime, I'm crying at night about watching my kids grow up with no mother, you know, and this and that, and, um, you know, eventually I ended up going back out drinking again for three years, and I found out I was miserable, miserable as fuck, and my best friend reached out to me and brought me in these rooms. Since then, I've worked these steps, you know, and, um, you know, all that misery I had and, and all those decisions I made, you know, the first time in my steps, like my fourth step, you know, I I uh, worked out my resentments towards my kid's mom and, and everything and, and figured, you know what, that was life. I, I did what I could, you know, and, and I've learned my lesson. Mm -hmm. This time around, I, I you know, I worked my steps. I didn't really have any resentments to anybody else, but I had a lot of resentments to 
you know, choices I've made, you know, and things that I'd like to do better in life. So this time around, these steps helped me, you know, to turn that around, make better decisions. You know what? I can't believe where I'm at today. You know, I mean, three years ago, I was working a, a low paying job for less money than I ever made in my life. I owed taxes, you know, um, just all kinds of shit. You know, my kids, they grew up and moved out. I was alone. And, um, man, today I got a, a good woman, a great woman. Um, my taxes are paid up, man. I got quads. I got a R Harley that's paid for. I got fucking cars, Baja bugs, sand rails. You know what? I get to, I, I get to go travel and see things today. You know, I get to li live life free. You know, I don't owe anybody. I'm not bondage to anybody, you know, uh, Man, this program's changed my life, man. All I know is that if you're new here today, if you're maybe even in here on a court slip or something else, you know, I mean, you know, we, we have our way out there in the streets and things are good, but I'm telling you, man, there's a better life out there to be had if you really want it, you know? And um, I myself, I just choose to do it sober because I found that I can do it when I'm sober. You know, I don't get myself into, into messes and bullshit anymore. You know, I sit back and, and I kind of go with life like the wind now, you know. It's like I end up being right there for people that need me at the right time. You know, my friends, they lost their son. And and it just so happened, you know, when, when something was telling me, hey, just go on by the hospital, man. I, I end up at a hospital right at that time to be there to talk to them, help them through it. And, you know, I... Life is good, man. That's all I know. I just wanted to share with you guys. You know, that's what this program's done for me. Anyway, my name's Craig. I'm alcoholic. Yeah.